Most studies show illegal immigrants are a net consumer of taxpayer-funded government services, either because many don't pay income taxes or those who do get money back through tax credits. Now, because the economy is strong, roughly 75 percent do work, but more than half this year will still need welfare to get by. The latest Central American caravan numbers more than 6,000. Most arrive without a penny in their pocket. So how do they get by? Asylum seekers qualify for work permits. Others work under the table. But a majority also receive taxpayer-subsidized benefits. When people claim asylum, they get work documents, they get a court date years later. They're eligible for a full planoply of benefits, state and local, and many federal. Many federal benefits are supposed to be off limits. In practice, many are not. 25,000, according to HUD, receive subsidized housing. Also, 26 states offer state-funded benefits, like cash assistance. 11 offer medical care. Others, like California, offer food stamps and disability. But if those states don't have a growing economy and don't have jobs that are open, immigrants, much less anybody else, they are not going to see them, those states, as, the, most, uh, as, as a, the biggest draws, if you will. Because of their lower income, adults and their children are entitled to a host of programs. Some qualify legally as asylum seekers, others by using stolen identities. There is a cost to communities, for sure, uh, whether it's uncompensated care at, at hospitals or in the education system and other ways. It's never really been measured, but it is very real. So the U.S. expects about a million illegal immigrants this year. The cost of services in the billions. Yet in 2018, the census showed more than half of Central Americans here still live in poverty.